Your iPhone screen says, iPhone unavailable try again in 8 hours. If you have forgotten your passcode, or the timer on your screen is stuck and not going down, this video will show you 3 quick ways to fix this issue. Method 1, Erase your iPhone from the lock screen. Tap on the forgot password option at the bottom right corner of the screen. Tap start iPhone reset. Enter your Apple ID password when prompted. Tap erase iPhone. Your iPhone will quickly erase all of its data. The erase is complete and you can access your iPhone again. Method 2, Fix the issue with iSumsoft iPhone Passcode Refixer. This tool allows you to quickly bypass the 8-hour lockout period and regain access to your iPhone. Click on the link below this video to visit the software page. Then, download and install the software on your computer. Also, make sure iTunes is installed on your computer, but you don't need to use iTunes. Open the iSumsoft iPhone Passcode Refixer. Choose the Unlock Lock Screen option. Click Start to proceed. Connect your unavailable iPhone to your computer via a USB cable. Then force reboot it to enter recovery mode. To do this, first press and release the volume up button. Then, press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Then, click next. The software will automatically detect your iPhone. Click download to download the latest firmware for your iPhone. Click Unlock. The software will start unlocking your iPhone. The unlock was successful. Your iPhone is no longer stuck on the iPhone unavailable message. And you can access it again. Method 3, Restore your iPhone in recovery mode using iTunes. First, connect your iPhone to your computer. Then, force reboot it to enter recovery mode. Open iTunes on your computer. Choose Restore from the pop-up. Click Restore and Update. Follow the on-screen prompts to confirm that you want to continue. iTunes will restore your iPhone to factory settings to get rid of the unavailable mode. The restore was successful. Now you can access your iPhone again. That's all there is to this video.